Reusing rockets stands out as one of the hottest trends in the 21st century aerospace industry, and leading this charge is none other than SpaceX, the monumental force in the aerospace realm. Their Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and the groundbreaking Starship have solidified their reputation as pioneers in this transformative trend. This model of reusability is becoming a beacon for every organization's developmental path. Even ESA, known for its traditional approach in aerospace, is striving to etch its mark by embracing this strategy. Their ongoing development of a reusable multi-role space capsule, SUSE, geared to partner with the Ariane 6 rocket, aims to birth what they term Europe Starship. This ambitious project is poised to liberate ESA from dependency on other nations for space missions and position them as competitors to SpaceX and Starship. But just how is the European Starship progressing? Could it truly rival SpaceX's Starship? Join us today on an episode of Great SpaceX where we'll delve into these captivating developments. The European Space Agency, or ESA, has long been entrenched in the aerospace industry, boasting advanced technology through collaboration among several prominent European countries. Yet their achievements, while remarkable, have not matched their technological prowess. ESA's accomplishments pale in comparison to aerospace giants like the US, Russia, or China. Despite possessing independent rockets, they have rely on other organizations for space missions. However, with the rise of SpaceX in the aerospace landscape, ESA's vulnerabilities became more pronounced. SpaceX's technological superiority and the pioneering concept of reusing rockets highlighted a capability that European rockets lacked. Enter the 73rd International Astronautical Congress in Paris, France last September. Ariane Group unveiled a new space capsule prototype named SUSE, short for Small Upper Stage for innovative exploration. This prototype will serve as the second stage of an Ariane 6 rocket variant, Ariane 64, launching cargo and humans into orbit. According to ESA, SUSE is an entirely reusable rocket stage project capable of performing various missions in space, automated or crewed, and returning to Earth. This move reflects ESA's recognition of the need to innovate and adapt in the face of SpaceX's monumental success with reusable technology through Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and the envisioned Starship. Stay tuned as ESA ventures into new realms to reclaim its position in the competitive aerospace arena. Since its debut at IAC 2022, updates on SUSE have been scarce. However, recent insights suggest that Ariane Group has been discreetly conducting tests on this innovative capsule. Testing appears to have commenced in October, involving a 2-meter-tall, 100-kilogram jet engine to evaluate the capsule's navigation and guidance capabilities. Further trials in the pipeline involve assessing SUSE's descent and landing abilities, exploring scenarios where the capsule will land using rocket engines or parachutes. These pivotal tests, facilitated by ESA and Ariane Group, aim to validate SUSE's capacity for controlled and safe landings, marking a crucial step in the development of Europe's reusable rocket stage project. The scale of SUSE is impressive, standing at 12 meters tall, 5 meters wide with a weight of 25 tons and an expansive 400 cubic meters of space capable of accommodating a payload of 7 tons. Its capacity to host up to five astronauts seated in a row towards the spacecraft's tip is complemented by an abort system ready for activation at any point during missions. Flexibility defines SUSE, allowing adaptable payload capacities tailored for specific space missions catering to diverse mission requirements. Yet, what sets SUSE apart from previous ESA prototypes is its groundbreaking feature, reusability. ESA's history hasn't witnessed such a feat with their prior vehicles. Even Ariane Space's CEO, Stefan Israel, acknowledged that the first reusable rocket might not appear until 2030. Suzy emerges as ESA's pioneering step toward this ambitious goal. Anticipated to partner with Ariane 6, Suzy signals a significant leap towards Europe's self-reliance in launching payloads and astronauts into space, an accomplishment unattained 
remained, despite possessing Ariane 5 previously. The concept of reusability not only embodies a leap in technological progress, but also positions ESA as a potential contender in the realm of space exploration, with an eye on SpaceX and their revolutionary starship. Despite the promising prospects, ESA and Ariane Group grapple with a multitude of challenges on their path to spacefaring autonomy. Susie in its nascent stages is a far cry from SpaceX's accomplished Starship. The spacecraft is yet to amass any laurels to rival Starship's extensive achievements. Presently confined to initial tests, Susie's full operational readiness seems distant, likely postponed until around 2028. By then, Starship might have logged groundbreaking accomplishments, moon landings with NASA, or even Martian ventures. This temporal gap between their operational phases could inhibit Suzy from ever matching Starship's triumphs, no matter its eventual launch. Meanwhile, Suzy's partner, Ariane 6, treads a sluggish de developmental path. Conceptualized in 2010 to supersede Ariane 5, its envisioned succession was hindered when Ariane 5 retired in July. This glaring delay highlights ESA's current predicament, the inability to autonomously execute space payload launches. This revelation signals a challenging reality for ESA at this juncture, a reliance on external resources for their space missions. Indeed, the perpetual delays haunting this rocket have led to a series of setbacks. Originally slated for its inaugural orbital flight in 2020 after an extensive developmental phase, the launch remained an elusive goal. Each approaching deadline witnessed the rescheduling antics of ESA and Ariane Group. The time initially set for 2020 saw multiple extensions, stretching the launch schedule to 2023. Yet even that was not the final verdict. August of the following year witnessed another postponement, deferring the flight to 2024. With the completion of the long-duration static fire test only in November, ESA faces a slew of pending tests to ready itself for the maiden flight. Ariane 6 was conceived to rival SpaceX's Falcon rockets, a lofty ambition now appearing increasingly implausible given the unassailable dominance of the Falcon series. Falcon 9 is on the cusp of the monumental 300 launch milestone, consistently smashing annual launch records, a feat Ariane 6 may not achieve even before its retirement. Similarly, Falcon Heavy has consistently displayed unwavering reliability in its critical missions. The staggering delay of Ariane 6 even compelled ESA to forge an alliance with its arch competitor, SpaceX's Falcon 9, for the Galileo satellite launches. If contending with Falcon rockets proves this challenging, how could Ariane 6 possibly compete with the likes of Starship? Starship reigns as the current colossus among rockets worldwide, standing tall at 121 meters, boasting a diameter of 9 meters, accommodating payloads of up to 150 tons, and propelled by the mighty Raptor engines. It unequivocally eclipses the combined might of Ariane 6 and Susie across every metric. The demonstration of its power has been palpable in the integrated test flights conducted this year. Progressing at its current pace, Starship is poised to breach the boundaries of orbit. Presently, the prospect of European Starship outpacing its progenitor seems elusive. Overcoming numerous hurdles lies ahead before contemplating loftier ambitions. Elon Musk's timeless, rockets are hard, rings true, especially for ESA and Ariane Group today. Crafting a rocket is no simple feat, and mastering reusability compounds the challenge. While ESA's strides with Suzy are commendable, they may serve as a stepping stone for future endeavors. However, solely relying on Suzy to rival Starship seems an insurmountable task. Given their current capabilities, ESA's most realistic aim may be to attain independence in space missions, liberating themselves from reliance on other nations, a noteworthy achievement in its own right. Yet the zenith of the aerospace domain lies far beyond their grasp. In the hands of exceptional minds across the Atlantic at SpaceX, the preeminent aerospace titan. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up and become a patron today to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.